Hi everyone, happy, happy Wednesday. Um, hope you're all okay. It's utter chaos here today. <laughs> Absolute utter chaos. It's Wednesday, so it's Josh and Jonah day. So little man's here with Uncle Josh today. And um, he's running around all over the place. Josh is just taking him out for a, to nip down around to Tesco's to try and uh, keep him out of the way for five minutes. But he just wants granny. So he's like, try I'm trying to set up and he's trying to sh show me stuff. And my husband is um, in the uh, laying the floor stage in the new sewing machine. He keeps calling it the office. It's not the office. It's the sewing room. <laughs> but he's doing that as well. The dog doesn't know what the hell's going on because she's completely batty now, bless her. It's chaos. It's a chaos. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so let's say hello. Who's coming on? Uh, hi, Anne. Hello, my darling. How are you? I hope you're fine. I hope you're feeling better as well, lovely. Um, we're going to do a little block today because obviously it's Wednesday, so block of the week. Uh, hi, Kate. Hi, Nikki. Hello, my darlings. Uh, we're busy in the shop. It's been really busy in the shop today. Lots of people in, which is lovely. Um, we've been trying to get ready for the Tuffet class on Saturday as well, finishing off some bits there. So we're there all prepped and ready. But we've just had these come in, so I thought I'd show you these. Um, hi, Carol. Hi, Janet. Hello, my darlings. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, everyone. So if I just pop over to here, for those of you are, who are knitting and crocheters, knitters or crocheters, um, we've just had these new colours in from um, King Cole. These are the cherished ones, which um, they you know they do the Fair Isle by themselves. So um, this one is called Sherbet, which is the most beautiful sort of like, it's like an acid yellow. I don't know if you can see how good the colour is. If I do that, I don't know if the colour is going to come up proper. So it's a pale baby blue, a grey, and then this gentle sort of acidy greeny yellow colour. Um, but you can see here, that's how it kind of knits up. You just knit stocking stitch and it does the pattern for you. Fantastic. I love Cherished. It's really beautiful to work with as well. Um, it does kind of pull in colour if... Sorry, it's my husband coming back now. <laughs> it does kind of pull when you crochet with it. So um, it's quite interesting with that as well. So there's that one. This one is called a lemon pie and that is like a taupe and a soft pink and a soft lemon in with the white. I don't know if I shield the, the daylight is draining the colour. You can just kind of see those colours. And then this one is called Crocus, which is the most beautiful sort of lilac, lavendery colour and a richer blue and white. And again, they all pull up like that. So these are on it. Everything's gone up and prayed. They used to be 3 75 They are 3 95 now. But... If you are a knitter or crochet, making for babies, these are beautiful. And we do the planes that go with them, the, the plain colours. So that was my new little something that came in just before we arrived. So I, I thought I'd show you that. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a bit of a new block, which is a twist on an old block. So we've done a block before called Jacob's Ladder. This is kind of a version of that, but because we've, I've played with the colours, um, I don't think it's particularly my pattern. I think there's lots of versions out there, but we I played around with the colours um, and it's come up with something else. So I'm calling it a Jacob's Diamond because it's based on a Jacob's Ladder, but slightly different. So it also works brilliantly with a charm pack. Okay, you can do this with charm packs. Oh, I forgot, no, no, I forgot to tell you. Um, for those who haven't seen, there is a 50% off sale on all panels until four o'clock today. I put it on yesterday. It's running all the way through till four o'clock today. So when I shut the shop at four o'clock, I'm going to take the sale off. But it's 50% off all panels. OK, so have a look on our website on the panel section um, and grab yourself some bargains before I take it off later. OK, so we're going to come over to the overhead. And what I'm going to what I wanted to show you is I've already made a few of these blocks up. So. This was from the Amelia's Blues and a Bella Solid um, pack. And you make the blocks all exactly the same. Okay, so you can see they're all exactly the same. They're done with a charm pack, all the same. But when you then put them together, they make the most amazing secondary patterns. So when you put four together like this, you put that one in there like that. Here we go. I'm hoping you guys can see this. Let me pull it down a weeny bit and you might be able to see this you get fantastic secondary patterns okay like this okay so can you see that starting to appear so you end up with these lovely this lovely chain of diamonds happening now I've got those two together so I'm gonna turn that one around like that because I don't want those two together okay now I chose to split my charm pack up 
so that I kept all the blues as the big bits and sort of the yellows and the browns as the chain. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. And then when you, hang on, if I move these over, like that, so you're making these beautiful sort of like offset diamonds with that, it's framed with those diamonds, but then when you put your next row on, you get a lovely little four patch happening here as well. Okay, so let me do that and that. Can you see you've got this lovely little four patch happening where the, all those little diamonds come together really really pretty i think it would be a stunning quilt i think it would be a beautiful table runner if you you made these like long you know a long section you'd have these make a really really pretty table runner um but we're going to do one of the blocks today and then you can make as many or as few as you want i might tomorrow put a sneaky little charm pack sale on to go with this so um wait and see tomorrow but check out the panels today um, hi Marilyn, hello lovely. Hi Kate, you're knitting with this at the moment. You love the effect. It's so lovely, isn't it? So what I did was I split up my charm pack basically. So I split it up into like my yellowy colours and this was the Amelia Blues that I took on. It was one that had opened. And then my, um, what's the word? Oh, where's, ha, lost my, my Bella Solid. <laughs> my Bella Solid, okay. You could cut them out of your stash but it worked so well with two charm packs, okay? Kept my blues to the outside and then my yellows and browns I'm gonna keep for the, the four patch. So it's really, really easy to make this one. It's two elements, we're gonna put them together. It's about how you put them together. So, first things first, I've gone with one of my blues and I've put a Bella solid right side together like that. And then I've drawn a diagonal line and we're gonna make some half square triangles. So I'm gonna stitch either side of the line, okay? Pretty standard, we've done this lots now. So I'm gonna do one of those to start with. So we're gonna nip over to here, hopefully. Just realized I haven't put my quarter inch foot on because it was chaos when I came in. <laughs> oh, bless him. He's not feeling very well again. He's just, he just can't seem to get over this virus thing that he's had. It's, he's had it for about three or four weeks now. And he has a good couple of days, poor little sausage. And then he's poorly again and he definitely just wanted granny cuddles today and I had to leave him to go to work and he wasn't having none of it. He really cried this morning. Proper pulls at your art strings, doesn't it? Hi Carol, how are you lovely? So I'm using my quarter inch foot, I've got the blade right on that drawn line and I'm going to stitch down both sides. Now I've already stitched down one side because I got a bit enthusiastic yesterday when I was making these up. <laughs> so. There we go. So stitch down both sides of the line, okay, to make the half square triangles. Now back over to the overhead. I'm gonna cut up that drawn line, okay. Like this. this would also work with scraps. It would make a great scrappy quilt. I'm gonna cut up, cut up that drawn line, and then I need a new blade. I also need to plug the iron in. See, I'm not ready for you today, am I? Really not ready for you today. Because of the chaos that was happening, I had to walk through the door. <laughs> and then what I want to do is just iron these out. And I'm going to iron them out to the darker fabric. Okay, so let's give it a gentle finger press to first. Just ease it in and then iron it out. Like that. Okay. There we go. And then we're going to do the same on this one. Just iron that out to the darker fabric. We then want to square these ones up. You want them to be four and a half inches. Okay. So how is everybody? Is everybody okay? How have you all been up to? Anybody up to anything interesting? Anybody been having a fun time doing anything? So as always with squaring up, diagonal line, blah, 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 can't speak today. Diagonal line <laughs> along the seam. Make sure my four and a half is within the fabric. And then I'm going to cut up one side and across the top like that get rid of that excess turn it round and now I can cut four and a half by four and a half so we've had another couple of quilt um, group blocks come you know the group block for the sorry the block for the group quilt come through today so um, don't forget you've got till the end of March to get them in please my darling so that I've got time to start <laughs> putting them all together and then getting it all quilted so um, if you are going to join in the group quilt, please do get that block in. 
Uh, Carol, you're still gardening and preparing seeds for veg. Oh, lovely. Oh, have you got an allotment or do you just grow veg in the garden? My son Rory is, um, bought, they bought their first house um, last year and uh, he's really, really getting into his garden and really wants to uh, have his own vegetable garden and stuff. So he's been prepping the land ready. <laughs> so I've got two half square triangles, which is what we need for this block. Okay, I'm gonna put those aside. I'm then gonna take one of my charm squares, my Bella solid one. So I'm using this lovely cream color. And then we're gonna cut this into four, two and a half inch um, squares. So line my two and a half inch up there, go up the middle, and then I'm gonna turn myself in the ruler rather than the fabric, because remember that just helps the least, the least you move the fabric, the better. And then up that way. So, and your amazing friend, uh, Taryn, came and helped me sort out your fabric stash on Monday. You don't need anything for quite a while now. I'm sure you don't, my lovely. I'm sure you don't. <laughs> Just, you might find something you, you know, think, oh, pretty. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm glad you got it all sorted, though. I can't wait to get all mine moved over into the sewing room. So, I need four of those. Okay, so I've got four of those. Uh, you've got a large garden with a veg plot at the end. Oh, lovely. And then I want four different ones of my my secondary colour, which for this one is going to be these yellows and browns. So I'm going to lay four of them up. And this would make four blocks then, okay? So you could do them all the same colour on each block, but I actually think I like the variety of it. So one, two, three, and we haven't had that one, four. So I'm laying four of them up. And again, I'm going to cut these into two and a half inches. So along the end like that hi grace how are you lovely tina you're growing veg seeds for the first time this year and they're coming along well oh lovely fabulous so we're gonna go up there like that and did you find lots in your stash that you've forgotten you'd had i know i did that the other day when i was emptying a box out and i was like oh, i didn't even remember buying this it's been in there for years there we go so i've now got all these little Coloured squares as well. Now I'm just going to use one set of four. These will be for other blocks, okay? So I'm going to put those aside for other blocks. So we're going to make two little four patches. So I want to lie them out like this. And we're going to use the Bella Solid ones in there. So this is a super, super simple block. Really, really quick, really easy to do, okay? So we're going to make little four patches. So I'm going to sew that one to that one, like that, that one to that one. And the nice thing about it, this, if you were making a quilt, is you could do this cutting and then just do all of this chain piece in, which would be mega, mega quick. Okay, I'm going to take these over to the machine and we're going to stitch those together. Um, oh yes, and so many repeats. Oh no, you obviously lost like some quilt. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I found that the um, oh a while back now, a couple of years ago, there was a particular range of fabric that I loved, and I was convinced I hadn't got the one fabric out of a range. So I was at a show before we had the shop. I was at a show and bought more of it, only get home to find that I'd already bought it twice before. So I obviously liked it, so it's fine, isn't it? If you like it, <laughs> hmm. At least you're sorted now, Anne. You want to start getting some quilts made, my darling, and uh, get the backs on them. Use some of that fabric stash for the backs. Make lovely big scrappy backs. Right, okay, so I'm not going to iron this for now. I'm just going to open them out. There we go. Clip them apart like that. I'm going to take the first two, okay? I'm just going to finger press it like that. Oh, finger, sorry, finger press it towards the darker fabric, not the solid, okay, like that. And then finger press that one towards the dark as well. And then I can go right sides together, nest that centre seam nice and carefully, like that. There we go. And away we go again. I'm going to stitch down there. Just realign that one, make sure it's all correct. And there we go. I'm going to do exactly the same with this other little set. So little four patches, nice and simple. Um, you've only got 17 in the pile to quilt so far. All of them were backing on them. Oh, Annie, you've got to get going, love. 
You've got to get going on them quilts. <laughs> that's amazing. Just think, though, how many... That's pretty cool. Since you only found us and quilted in lockdown, you've made 17 quilts. That's so cool. Do you want them all? Or are you like, oh, why have I got this one? Why have I got that one? Maybe gift them or ra charity them or raffle them or someone like Quilt for Care Leavers, somewhere like that. Okay, what we're going to do now is we are going to give these a press. So we're going to pop those out like that, press them out, and then we're going to square those up too. What do people do with them all? I give a lot of mine away. I give mine away to all sorts of people and presents and stuff. I keep quite a few. I've got new quilts to make now for the boys. So we found some, dun my boys are proper little nerds. And we found some Dungeons and Dragons fabric. I'm just gonna square these up to four and a half and then we can put the thing together. So two and a quarter, two and a quarter, right off the center, cause that's half of four and a half. I'm just gonna trim off anything I don't need like that. So we found some Dungeons and Dra Dragons fabric the other day and they are massive D&D fans, my lot. And they were so excited. They were like, oh my God, mum, we need new quilts. So I've ordered some, I've ordered the D&D fabric. It's come. Um, and uh, so now I've got to come up with some new, new designs for this fabric because it's quite big prints. So I need to have a little, I need to have a look at it and a little play and see what I'm going to do, do with them for the boys. So I nearly had to make three, but Drew wanted one as well, and I told Beth she had to do Drew's. <laughs> right, okay, so we've got two little four patches and two little half square triangles, all done up to four and a half inches, okay? Uh, what do we do? Yeah, I, I think half the time we make them because we love them, okay? That's, that for me, that's, that's what it is. I make it and then I just give them away. Um, I don't actually, I actually only own two quilts that are mine that I keep and use. So... I'm going to lay the four patches out so you've got this lovely diagonal running through like that okay and the bit you want to be careful so normally Jacob's Ladder's got different bits to it but it's kind of a reverse one we're going to make sure that the background fabric is pointing in okay like that that's the bit you want to be careful with is make that background fabric point in so that these are framing that there Okay, now Jacob's Ladder is normally the range, you have it in the centre and then the diamond's running up here. But this is what we're going to do this time, okay? So you're going to have it like that. Again, simple sewing. We're now going to stitch that one to that one, that one to that one, all the way down, and then make it, um, put it together. So just line that up. So they're all four and a half, so they should fit nicely. We're going to stitch that one there. I do tend to put a pin in, so I remember which edge I'm going to stitch. And then that one's onto there. Line that up nicely like that. Pop a pin in here. Stitch down that edge. So oh, back over we go. Uh, here we go. Um, I know a lot of people will will make for charity. They make for project liners or quilts for care leavers um, because they love the process, but they don't know what to do with the quilts once they're done. Um, but sometimes it doesn't have to be a quilt top, does it? It can be other sewing. It can, you can make cushions and, you know, make the quilt tops into curtains or something. I don't know. You know, why not? Have a really cool, a nice Roman blind or something with a quilt with, with, with a quilt top. Line it. You know. There we go. Like that. Make yourself a quilted jacket. Cut up one of those quilt tops. Make yourself a quilted jacket. So I am just going to very quickly press this and I'm going to press it towards the half square triangle. I'm not going to swap cameras just because that's a lot of backwards and throwing, isn't it? And same this one again towards the half square triangle like that. Okay. And then we're going to put these together there to there like that and nest that center seam just like we did with the four patches. Make sure that's all nice. You can put a pin in there if you wish like that. We're nearly done. So this is definitely a, a block that could be lots and lots of chain piece in, because you could chain piece all those four patches and do all the half square triangles and then put them all together. There we go. We, um, when we were doing Modern Quilt Guild, we did a load of quilt tops um, as a group 
and then we donated them to um, Hebron Hall, which is um, a nursing home, which is right by us. Um, and they use them in their, you know, their day lounge and stuff and things. Um, we did like mile a minute, you know, and um, jelly roll races to use up scraps and stuff. And they were so thankful. It was really lovely. The fact that, you know, they've got something pretty and colourful to look at and things. So there we go. Block is done. Okay. Really quick, really simple block. But you can then make lots of them and they make these really interesting secondary patterns you could keep them all like this okay so you can again you can play around with the placement of them which is quite interesting as well so that would go like that so i'm keeping them all the same way you get these lovely big diagonals running through with almost almost looks like bunting in the breeze doesn't it like that so that works quite nicely as well I don't know if you can see that guys if I got that you got enough of that in to see the pattern again <gasps> when the sewing room's done which hopefully will be by this weekend next week we're going to be broadcasting from there so you can see you can make I don't know if you can just about see that but you get these lovely but long big diamonds happening all the way down through and you've got sort of showcase there or you can turn them like we did earlier like that and have that lovely diamond in the center with that secondary frame of diamonds and then you get these lovely little four patches happen oh hang on happen just there <clears throat> i don't know if you can see that guys i'm not sure if the camera is big enough but um but yeah i think it's just a really really quick and easy one to do i think it would be beautiful it, it you'd get a good lap quilt out of a two charm packs so a design charm pack and then a solid charm pack these are really useful i use generally use these and the layer cakes all the time it saves me cutting a lot of the time you know but i've still got lots of bits to make more blocks with at the original charm pack and i've i do some of the charms for jellies uh, for, for demos rather so yeah i've got another one there easily make a really beautiful table runner or a sort of little lap quilt which i think would be really pretty so nice and easy little block today i will write it up um give me a couple of days because it's all a little bit crazy give me a couple of days but i will write it up but you can just follow along it's quite an easy one to follow along with um hi karen how are you hi jean hello my darling uh you've been on the upholstery course today oh lovely hi leslie too fabulous um catch up later no problem at all i'm going to go i know it's a real quickie today but i'm going to go because josh is trying to keep little man upstairs out of the way bless him <laughs> and he doesn't want to be up there he wants to be downstairs watching thomas the tank engine so um yeah i will see you then uh i will see you tomorrow sarah will be here tomorrow um she is um doing a little card holder next week um on tuesday just to let you know next week on tuesday um i'm going to be doing an evening one rather than a one o'clock i'm going to be doing one at seven o'clock because we're going to do a slightly longer project and i haven't got any help in the shop on tuesday says off so um it's just a bit of a pain so i'm going to do a, a bit of a gentle one in the evening at seven okay so it'll be seven one and one next week um but yeah have a lush weekend hopefully next week i'll be able to show you my new sewing room and the studio will be in there and it's all gonna be amazing if it all works you never know <laughs> anyway take care my darlings bye